干。Just here in Boots Pharmacy in the airport, in the fucking airport, and they do sell testosterone, but they've sold out, so they're getting some more in next week. <laughs> so if you're on a flight out of Thailand and you've forgotten your stash of testosterone, you can buy at the airport, but you're not guaranteed if you're going to bring it back into Australia. There you go, tourism in Thailand, steroid vacation, insane. So welcome to a quick documentary about steroids in Australia. Australia, mate, welcome to Australia, bruh. Steroids are the most injected drug in Australia. We use more steroids than heroin or cocaine or crack. Steroids. So here's a quick little video showing how easy it is to get steroids from your local doctor. I still do not understand, it fucking baffles me, why the fuck people buy steroids off the street. If you're going to use steroids, get them from the local doctor. That way you know what dosage you're getting, you're getting legit shit. I don't recommend using steroids though. I do not recommend them out there. Alright, I don't recommend using them, but I understand people are going to use them. They want to get swole, they want to get ascetic, they want to get like the crew on, on, on the net. Understand that. If you're going to do it, get them from your doctor. So you know what you're putting in your body. So here's a quick little footage of me in the doctors asking for testosterone, asking for some steroids. And because I got it from a doctor, it means it's totally legal. Now, which script do you actually, did you bring it to you? No. So now I'm in Thailand at a pharmacy, at a university pharmacy, and here we have Testo Vera and Depot, 250 milligrams testosterone and anthate, five bucks a pop. So you get about five bucks a week for to get swollen as Elliot, five bucks a week. Uh, testosterone and anthate, they're very, very, very powerful uh, acting testosterone there. Quick, lean mass builder. Very popular, very, very popular. And you can buy as much as you want. <laughs> this is no limit. I mean, this is just an everyday pharmacy here in Thailand. And you can get some uh, some cool fever there if you need it. And the, the, the staff, this is another pharmacy, is so popular, uh, so so friendly rather. These, you can buy syringes, so you got clean needles, things like that. So I think if people are going to put out clean needles, it's going to help reduce uh, you know, sharing of needles and stuff if you can actually get them. And they're very cheap. So that's why Thailand does a lot of work with drug usage to make it more clean for people who's two assistants, two assistants to help me out. Fantastic customer service in Thailand. And you have a testosterone? Testosterone, yes. Mm -hmm. Which one do you have? Oh yeah, testosterone. Okay. Yeah, so oh, yeah, 170 baht. Okay. How many boxes do you have? Now I have four. Four boxes? Yes. Okay. And you can sell four boxes? Yes. Okay, no problem. Cool. So one box has 20. Okay, cool. So standing in line here behind a swolger, a swolger hooking up. So he's a friendly guy. They had a chat with him. He's a great guy. And this is a basically a brochure saying what they can get. They, they don't have EPO in stock, but they could get it in. This is a standard little brochure they have in any you know high-level pharmacy in Thailand, all legit stuff. So if you want to build a, if you want to be a stronger version of yourself or a, a physique of greatness, get into the beast mode. If you want to be a beast mode Jones or a legend of ascetics, this is the sort of stuff people use like that use, uh, oxalandrinone, all sorts of stuff. Stanozolo is a very popular pharmacy, this one. You can tell the bodybuilders walking in and out. I was here for half an hour. Um, here for half an hour. So it's definitely ascetic crew coming through here all the time. And even the cat. Look at that little cat. <laughs> this cute cat. This is how they run in Thailand. This is how they run it. Pretty amazing stuff. Pretty amazing stuff. Oh, so here's a little stash of things. So got the Sustanon 250, the testosterone mixes like a four mix. This is totally legal, totally effective. Ibuprofen plus codeine, very popular painkiller amongst swimmers and runners, cyclists, MMA players. Very, very effective 
performance enhancing drug, totally legal. Asthma medication, very effective, totally legal if you have the doctor's script. What does this look like? You might recognize this from primary school. It's an asthma puffer. If you don't have a doctor's script for this, a TUE, you get a two year suspension, but every single five or six year old on a sports day would be a bit of wheezy cough and hay fever using one of these. So highly effective doping product, highly illegal, unless you have your therapeutic exemption form or unless you're in primary school. And we have the testosterone, nanthate, this is an Australian one. Same stuff we had in Thailand, it's called uh, testoverin over there here, it's primatestin, same thing. If I brought the Thai stuff into Australia, I'd risk imprisonment, but I can get it from a doctor here. <laughs> That's how tight the uh, pharmaceutical company's got their business here. What, is it? what do you get in the pack? You get three pack, and you get 250 milligram in one cc testosterone nanthate. So I've got enough testosterone here to set up a World Cup soccer team, and this is called... Uh, what have we got here? This is the uh, Androderm, which is a testosterone transdermal patch. So it's a 24 milligram. Basically, a, a patch that you put on your scrotum or your legs, back, or stomach. And this is what Lance Armstrong used, Tyler Hamilton, those guys. So there you go. It's all totally 100% legal. Diving practices in Australia. Legit painkillers. And this is totally legal. Totally 100% legal. And another popular performance enhancing drug is actually Viagra. This is a very, very effective drug, very legal, and <laughs> probably a bit, a bit embarrassing if you're a runner and you're cracking a boner <laughs> in the end of the marathon. These green tablets here, these are paracetamol, a very effective painkiller that's very, very popular amongst athletes and office workers too. So there you go, there's two more legal things. Viagra currently being used in the pro scene and paracetamol. Painkillers, so you don't feel the pain when you race or train. So what a lot of Olympic swimmers would do is they'll use testosterone. They'll go for a holiday, use heaps of testosterone, and you won't be tested because you're obviously out of country or you're nowhere to be found. So when you use a lot of your testosterone, when you start injecting yourself or using patches, your natural testosterone levels go down. So then you go back, as soon as you get home, you cycle off your steroids, get tested by a doctor, your T levels are gonna drop. Your testosterone levels are gonna drop. So then you go to the doctor, hey look, hey doc, I've got low T levels. Can you write me out a therapeutic use exemption form? A therapeutic use of ex exemption form. So I'll give it to my swimming federation so then I can legally take testosterone. And the swimming federation go, yes, you've got your TUA, no worries. Enjoy your Olympic games. And that's how you do legal doping, testosterone. So fucking powerful. If you're doing a lot of training, your T levels can drop down naturally. So you boost them up, you can just train like a motherfucker, like a mofo. Testosterone really benefits the athlete who's training a lot. So if you're a swimmer, a tennis player, a sprinter, runner, cyclist, things like that, testosterone definitely will help you a lot. Again, I don't recommend it, but this video just shows legally how it's done. Legally, no worries, no worries. So again, People say, what will you do with all these drugs, Harley? I'll give them to the local pharmacy and get them to dispose of them responsibly. Um, so yeah, so that's a little quick video. Post your comments and questions down below. What would you like to see next video? See you soon. What's that? I just say, I'm on the phone, wait up. Yeah, Elliot. What's up, man? Yeah, I got some, uh, got some gear, man. Maybe go, yep, yeah, I've got, I've got some gear, bro. Yeah, you can probably go halves with uh, with Keith and Kevin and Chris and uh, some of the boys. Ogus.